It's going to be uh, something that's going to be unique for the whole state of Idaho because it's going to be um, you know, a school that hasn't been, been built before and it's going to be specific towards, uh, towards Bonneville. Today, architects and the Bonneville School District 93 leaders talked about the future floor plan of the new high school. Local news aide Chelsea Brensel was at that meeting, so Chelsea, not everything's set in stone, but what might be really unique about this school? Well, Carol, the district is planning on building a three-story school. It will include the football stadium auditorium that patrons voted back to build back in November. Architects and district leaders say a three-story school is actually more cost-effective. It's just the opposite of extravagant because to build a wider footprint costs much more than going up a story. And the foundation is there already. And if we just put it on top, we could even s save enough money to frame in the extra 300 uh, student classrooms to, to have a total of 1,800 students. So it, it's, it's a, a cost saving factor. Instead of being built in three years, the district is hoping it will be done in two. The architect and construction crews will work on an aggressive schedule to get it done. The hope is to not have any split sessions. Access points and traffic flow are still being worked out by, district, by the district and architects. Nothing is finalized, but the plan is for the auditorium to have balconies on each floor. And the science classrooms will be on the third floor. And new tonight, the new school has an appointed principal. The district announced current Hillcrest principal Doug McLaren will fill the spot. But as an administrator, I, I think, yeah, wow, just a, a great opportunity once in a lifetime. I appreciate the, the trust and the faith that the district leadership and the board's putting in me to appoint me to this. And, you know, I'm just excited to get going. The district plans to have community meetings in the near future. They want everyone to, in the district to get involved because they say, after all, this is a community school. Live in the studio, I'm Chelsea Brensel. All right, thanks, Chelsea. Uh, the school will be the first in the district with air conditioning. District leaders will meet with the design team again next month.